everyone. Welcome to my craft source. I'm so happy that you're here today to join us as we go over a Cricut for Beginners tutorial. So a lot of people have maybe opened the box of their new Cricut and that's maybe as far as you've gotten. Well, no worries. Today I'm going to go through a small tutorial that's super simple to follow along so you can get used to using Cricut uh, and the software that comes with it. So grab those Cricuts out your closets if that's where you've had it stored since you opened it and we're just so overwhelmed by everything that was to come next. So let's grab those Cricuts and we're gonna head on over to our software and I'm gonna show you sort of a breakdown of what it's all about. So you will be designing with your Cricut in no time. I can't wait to see what great projects you're going to create after learning how to use your Cricut. Okay, so let's get started by opening up our design space. So go to design.cricut.com and sign in to your personal design space account. Once you're signed into your software, then we're just going to go and check out your profile here. You can see I'm logged in. Um, on your profile button, you'll be able to see some of your recent projects you've worked with and you have abilities to edit your profile. So let's go home and check out this page. So when you're at the home page, you will first see a welcome and promotions banner here. And this is kind of the latest things that Cricut has to offer and some of the new promotions that are going on. And then next you will see your projects. So these projects are sort of like your iCloud library. Anything you've worked on will show up here. And then we have our Cricut Access. These are ready-made files that you can subscribe to be a member of the Cricut Access uh, to download these. And they sort of hold your hand and walk you through making uh, different projects. So here you can see they'll have a, you know, a description, a materials list, and, and kind of tell you how to do it. And this is great for first time users and just wanting to create something quick. Um, and some of them will have prices, so this one's free, uh, but if you want to use that you just click make it and it'll bring it into your project. Uh, but today we're not going to be using this because I'd like to go into a little more in depth with you on what the tools of Cricut Design Space are. So we want to go to a new project. So click the right button, new project there, and let's create something new together. Um, here is where you will select which cutting device you're using. We're using the Maker. Uh, and then new is a button you would push if you just want to start over on a new canvas. Um, uh, and then we have templates. So templates are strictly for visualization. Um, these will not cut. They're just there as a reference guide for you to apply your cut files and use them as a uh, way to arrange your files. So I'm just going to click on this one for a reference here and, and it'll pop up and let you know, hey, it's only for reference only and it will not be saved with your project. Uh, so just keep that in mind when you're create, uh, using your templates. So next is your projects button. Projects are the same things we were talking about before. This is your Cricut Access membership. You can search for various projects and categories up here in your search bars. Um, or you can just kind of type in exactly what you're looking for and it'll browse for you. It's a little bit more limited with what variety there is. Um, but that's a kind of start to finish project. And then when you go to images, these are more of like your cut files and there's going to be a lot more options to browse through and to choose from. So here on the bottom left corner, you can see that it has a fee of what each of these cut files costs and there's an information button to learn more about it. Um, so once you have chosen your images and want to create a uh, project with them, you will just go and insert those images into your uh, canvas by hitting the bottom right insert image button. I'm going to grab one more real quick and um, work with two of the images off of here. So this one's free. I just go and click insert images and it'll bring it in for me, the two files I selected. All 
Alright, so these little buttons on the corner of each of your images are how you edit some of your designs. So the X is delete. Uh, if you want to undo it, just go to the undo, bu undo button there. Uh, the arrows is a scale button. You can click and drag to resize your design. And the lock and unlock button there, lock your proportions so that way if you want to edit it and, and kind of shrink it or warp it, you would just unlock that button. And then we have a rotate tool. Um, so these buttons are available on each of your images as well as in the little edit bar above your images. So here you can edit your size to specific uh, numerical amounts. You can rotate it a specific degrees. Uh, you can change the position of it on your mat. Um, so there's multiple ways to use the same tools. So here you can see I duplicated this B, and I've got one selected and one's not selected. Um, I'm going to delete the extra there. But whenever you're editing something, you just want to make sure you're selected that specific layer that you wish to be editing. And then these eyes here are how you hide your layers. So if you want to hide a part of your design temporarily, you just click that eye and it'll hide it for you. Uh, and let's resize this here and you can see different ways of editing by right clicking. You can also duplicate it there, you can delete it there, you can copy it, uh, move it forward and backwards, so you can right click or you can go to just use the buttons over there on the layers tool to use the same exact options. So multiple ways of editing this way as well. Uh, the next thing we're going to go over is our shapes tool. So here you can draw a number of different shapes and designs. Um, we'll just start with a heart here and you can edit these exactly the same way as the images that we brought in. Uh, you just select it in the layers and then your buttons will pop up. Uh, now if you want to arrange something forward and back, say I want that bumblebee to be on the front, I'm just going to use the arrange button and move it to the front. Uh, and that gives me the option of having that layer in front of the heart so I can see it better. I'm just going to select both of these and move them over for a second. Um, so the tool we're going to use the most is probably our upload tool here. This is where we bring in something of our own to create it in design space. So these are the files that you can use, JPEG, GIF, PNG, BMP, SVG. Those are all the ones you can upload. So let's go grab a PNG and I'll show you how that works. I'm just going to use my candy corn one here. So when you bring this in, it'll be a print then cut feature. So if you want to turn it into a cut line, then you need to choose the complexity of your design and try to have design space, erase your background, and uh, turn it into a cut file. So here you can see the PNG is not a great choice because what it does is it just erases all my layers and just makes one single cut file. So that's not really going to work for what I want my design to be, but that option is available for print and cut features. Um, so here I brought my SVG in and I'm going to rename it and add some tags. This is just how you can easily search for your projects if you have a ton of projects going on. Uh, this helps give you some ways of uh, finding it in your search. So click on that file we uploaded and insert that image into your canvas and then I'm just gonna go ahead and delete out my first project that was going on there. Just select it and delete it. And now we have our candy corn design. So here you can see it's multiple layers with multiple colors uh, and that means that it'll be arranged on a mat in multiple colors as well. So each mat represents a color of vinyl that you're going to be using. Um, Cricut has a way of auto arranging things onto mats to get the most of your vinyl. So um, sometimes if you have it aligned perfectly in design space when you go to put it on your mat it'll be just all jumbled up on the different mats. So the arrangement doesn't necessarily matter um, with your design 
unless you really have something that needs to be specifically lined up. Uh, we'll touch bases about that. But you can go and select each individual layer and edit them independently. So if I want to change the colors of my E or my L, I'm just going to select it and go and create a different material color for it. And then, so maybe I want those two to be cut on a black mat, then I could just group those together and then we'll all be put on the black mat. Um, but I do not want to do those black, I just want to go and um, have individual layers so I can have multicolors in this project. So here is where you'll choose your material size and mirror your vinyl if it's needed. Um, also you can select different mats and, and edit those also. And then once you've got that figured out, you just send it to your cutter. Um, I don't have my cutter hooked up, so we're not going to go through that, but um, we're going to go and touch bases a little more on some more buttons that are available. So next is your text tool, and this is a popular tool to use. So let me just write hi there. And you can use the scale and the unlock proportions and all those same buttons like we did with our image. But when you click on your text, it does give you the option of font editing and you can see the different fonts that are available. Some of these fonts you must purchase or if you're part of the Cricut Access, you'll be able to use those. Um, but uh, you just go and kind of scroll down and choose the font of your choice and it'll change it in there for you. And then when you click on it, it allows you to edit your size, your line spacing and your alignment all those typical text editing tools. Now this is the curve tool and this is a popular one that you'll probably use quite a bit. Uh, it warps your text to go kind of curve around your images um, and then you can ungroup your text in the advanced button there and that gives you the option to edit each individual piece. So down here at the bottom are some more advanced tools and I'm not going to go over those in depth because um, you know as a beginner you probably won't be using those much but uh, once you get more advanced uh, you will use these quite often actually. So there is the, um, f the weld tool and here you can see I welded my two pieces together and by welding them it grouped them together on my mat to where I can keep that um, so where it'll cut it as one group instead of individual pieces arranged on your mat so if you don't care about saving vinyl and want it to be specifically cut the way you want it laid out then this is the option you would want to use for that and here you can see it just it groups everything together so it's on one mat instead of all five of those mats it's just you would be cutting one single color uh, for it that way so when you're done and have your design just right, you want to save your project. And then in that way you'll be able to reference it in your saved projects to use at a later time. Well thank you for following along to this tutorial for the beginner steps. Uh, if you want to learn more in depth buttons, then tune back in for one of our next tutorials. I can't wait to see you guys again and make sure you're subscribing so you can get all our tutorials and our videos as we post them on our channel. Goodbye for now.